afternoon, everyone. And certainly, again, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this event as we honor and award our faculty this afternoon. I'm Dr. Marshall Washington, president of here at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. And on behalf of the board of trustees, our faculty, and our students who we serve, it is my pleasure to be here with you. I'm so pleased to join you today for the 2021 Faculty Instructional Awards Celebration. I had the great opportunity to be able to greet everybody today. They gave me, they really didn't give me the task. I took it. I got to stand by the door and I got to greet everyone who came in. And it was great to be able to greet our award, awardees, but I got to meet the supporting cast behind many of our folks. And I just want you to wave to me, all those folks who are the supporting cast. That means you're a spouse, you're a parent, you're a friend. Let me see you right now. Great, 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 great. Thank you all again. That's a part of what we are here at Kalamazoo Valley. We are community. And that community stands for even we know that behind the great people that we are honoring today are you as well who help them get to where they are and make it happen every single day. So with that, those, these annual awards are designated to acknowledge the fine efforts of our Kalamazoo Valley Community College faculty members who have actively encouraged our students, intellectually curiosity, engaged students in the enterprise of learning, and who have a lifelong impact on many of our graduates. The instructional awards are part of an ongoing effort to recognize and honor individual excellence in teaching. Earlier this year, current students, faculty, and staff members made nominations by completing a submission form. Today's award recipients join a long list of other distinguished faculty members who have been recognized over the past 11 years. And let's give them a round of applause, our previous awards. <laughs> you have the printed program, which includes the outstanding information regarding each one of our nominees. I'm sure that you will be impressed as I am by the professionalism and dedication of these award winners. Cheryl Mehta, Lois Baldwin, Alberto Citron Colon, Stephanie Hughes, Michael Keller, Mark Love, Chris Curris, Teresa Shane. We will certainly be acknowledging them over the next few minutes. Today, we salute you. honor your many achievements, your dedication to the mission of the college, and thank you all for doing what it makes Kalamazoo Valley Community College a great place for all students to learn, belong, and find success. So with that, congratulations, and I would like to bring to the mic Ronald Higginbotham, who is one of our faculty members in our English department. Ronald. Thank you, Dr. Washington. Uh, I'm really glad to be here in front of real people for a change. And uh, Cynthia asked me to do this, and how do you turn Cynthia down? She's such a nice person. But I would have done it anyway because of what this award means to me. Um, it's important that we recognize the excellence in our instructors. And uh, it's a hard thing to do. There were, this year, 136 full-time and adjunct instructors nominated. 300 students nominated someone. And again, thanks to the committee for going through all of that. And, and it's hard because I've been on that committee before. And you have to sort out the best of the best. And sometimes the margin is very thin and sometimes there are arguments. So anybody who didn't get the award shouldn't feel too bad. Because excellence is KBCC. And it has been for a long, long time. Um, I want to look at this from a student's point of view for a change. 
And I can do that because I was a KECC student. I came here, 42 years old, non-traditional student, working in a factory. Didn't leave the factory until I got hired here. But um, what KVCC was to me and a lot of students was hope and possibility. Hope and possibility. And I see that in my students' eyes today, and I know you see it in yours. They are in a hard time right now. These are difficult times. And KVC stands, KVCC stands out as some place that they can go and achieve dreams, or as I did, find a dream to achieve. And that is what makes the instructor's excellence important. Because hope doesn't come from the building. Hope doesn't come from the grounds. Hope comes from you. The possibilities come from you, right? I had some great full-time teachers. As a non-traditional student, I had some great adjunct teachers. Probably I had more adjunct teachers than I did full-time teachers at that time. And they all came through with hope and possibilities, right? And it's our obligation to fill out that need to be something. And what that something is, is a light on their path to guide them through these really weird and uncertain times to a life that's worthwhile and fulfilling and to help them become something that will be beneficial to all of us. And that is a contributor to a better society. Think of it that way when you go into your classroom. You're not just working for yourself. You're working for them, you're working for your students, their future, and the society as a whole. So, this is where we are. We're going to celebrate some very special people. And I think we're going to start out with uh, me calling Anna Fontaine up to the, uh, the mic so she can do her presentation. She is very respectful and loves teaching. 
she is why I am motivated for English classes now. Um, there are no words to describe how awesome she is. And you can tell she really cares about her students. So thank you, Cheryl, um, for having a vision for our department. We all, especially the students, appreciate your hard work and dedication.
from this last year, he honestly has been my best professor to show he cared about me and my success, has shown effort in his work, and has such a lighthearted and cheerful personality. From this online experience, I'm very sad I wasn't having him in class in person with him. I can attest to all of that. Then, Professor Alberto Cintron Colon has been one of the best professors I've had this semester. He is so understanding with due dates and extends our time and assignments of labs if other students are having internet problems. He is very well organized, and he is super good at doing his lectures on human physiology. I would highly recommend this professor. He is also well organized and knows what he is doing as a professor. He has office hours which have great times for people to join on certain days and is also very kind. I hope he wins this award for the 2021 Faculty Awards nominations. So congratulations. Next up, we have Corey Barrett, please. It is my honor and privilege uh, to uh, introduce Chef Stephanie Hughes as a recipient of the uh, faculty award. Uh, Chef Stephanie and I have been, uh, actually we started our tenure here together, um, and so we put in our two-year and four-year portfolios together. I will say uh, Chef Stephanie is extremely organized. She made sure that I uh, was on time with all of my papers. <laughs> <laughs> and was always a fantastic go-to resource, and I know that in the classroom that's, that's really well uh, reflected. Students are uh, very excited. Uh, to take classes and now Chef Stephanie, uh, she, she runs the, the student cafe and obviously everything has been extraordinarily interesting here uh, over the past year and a half but uh, her class was able to donate hundreds of meals uh, for frontline workers at Bronson Hospital and other uh, places around Kalamazoo uh, so those were some fantastic things. She also teaches um, food safety. Now, for students to get excited about serve safe again exams and food safety, and, I just and, <laughs> and, and nominate a teacher for that is pretty uh, exemplary. It's not always the most uh, high point of a, of a student's uh, career, so it's been uh, uh, pretty fantastic. So I'll read a couple remarks from students. Uh, Chef Hughes takes her role as an instructor seriously and is dedicated to having students succeed in her class. Chef Hughes has a purpose in assigning seamless, seemingly, I love this one, seemingly monotonous simple tasks which pass the class on the serve safe exam. Offering simple but important explanations for the tasks make those simple tasks meaningful. Additionally, all quizzes and exams were without errors, which means she values professionalism and at the time and the time and effort of her students. I look forward to participating in the future classes with Chef Stephanie. Uh, and she goes by Stephanie as well. So. Uh, and one, one more. Uh, Stephanie was my first college professor. She helped me out tremendously to navigate the course. She worked with me when I wasn't able to do some of my assignments because of my living circumstances. And just really showed how much she cares about her students. And I'm grateful to have her as a professional. Thank you. Or for, as a professor, thank you again, uh, Chef Hughes. And uh, that, I think that's a really great uh, snapshot of Stephanie at large. Uh, extraordinarily organized, very professional, but empathetic at the same time. And really, you know, when you think about things that you ask from uh, a teacher, I don't think you can ask much more than that. So, congratulations. Hey, Mr. Tim Farrell, could you please come down? Hi, good afternoon. So it gives me real pleasure to introduce Mike Keller. Um, I'm really pleased to be here because um, of the years I've been here, I've been able to sit in the uh, class and listen to the kids before my class starts. And many times they talk, talk about the really good things they're writing about in Mike's class. And that's always good. A couple semesters ago, we had several students. Uh, we shared several students in our classes. And when we would go out for our break, they'd always talk to me about the things they were writing in Mike's classes. And that doesn't really surprise me, because as I've gotten to know him, he's a very broad-gauged and very deep and intelligent person. He uh, teaches English, but it's not unusual. He'd stop by my office and want to talk about the Supreme Court. Or he'd want to talk about something that happened 
on September the 1st of 1939, which was the start of the Second World War. Um, and so he never amazed me with what he came by and wanted to talk about. So it's very clear that he really engages with his students. Uh, Professor Keller is a fantastic teacher who has nurtured my curiosity and pushed me to explore topics that have been intellectually out of my comfort zone. For essays catered toward our interest, Professor Keller helped to give me the initiative to pursue a topic that seemed overwhelming and was extremely helpful throughout the process. He provided beneficial resources and answered every question. Another student wrote, I emailed Mr. Keller before the winter of 2021 semester asking him if his classes were recorded. I wanted to know if I could watch the lessons after they played as I had class in the morning he taught, but I still wanted to take his class. He responded back by letting me know that they weren't recorded, but he would be willing to meet with me and me only on a one-on-one -on -one basis each week for all 15 weeks. This alone would be enough for me to nominate him. And Mr. Keller has been an absolutely wonderful instructor. I am engaged throughout the entire class. So that tells you an awful lot about Mike Keller. And I'm very pleased to be here. Thank you. Mr. Steve Waldman, please, could you come down? Hi, everyone. It's a great pleasure and honor, especially for me. It's a lot of my fellow faculty, how many of you taught on an ad hoc basis? I did it for 22 years, and we owe so much to the adjunct instructors, especially through this COVID year. I'm so glad to present this honor to Mark Love, who is a business instructor as well as a foundation development instructor. And uh, here's just a couple comments from some of the students. Mr. Mark Love goes above and beyond to encourage and ensure student success. The pandemic has been hard for so many. Mark has been a light in a dark time for so many. He doesn't just work during normal business hours. I've reached out to him multiple times while doing schoolwork late at night not expecting a response until the next day. However, Mark has always responded within minutes. He is patient and kind always. His passion is, his passion is evident in classes. I am honored to have the opportunity to learn so much from Mr. Love. That's just one student. Another student, Mark is a great instructor. I'm usually a very introverted person. Anybody relate to that one? Okay. But going to his Zoom classes, and that is a skill, folks, doing Zoom correctly. Uh, going, but going to his Zoom classes made participating more enjoyable and comfortable. Even though classes are online, I still feel like I got to know my classmates a little bit more through his teaching strategies. When I have questions, he always has great advice to share and is always so optimistic. I would recommend him to any students who are interested in any of the courses he teaches. Thank you. It's my distinct honor to present the award to Dr. Chris Pruis. Um, Chris and I met a little over two years ago as we embarked on our full-time journey here at Valley um, in our tenure track. Um, Chris's experience to prepare her to come to Valley here is more than enough, but what really stands out with Chris is her personality. In fact, she's given me uh, numerous bits of advice over the last couple of years. One that really stands out for me was, she told me time and time again, is just be yourself. But when you're Chris, that's actually very easy to do, <laughs> as some of her students will account to here. Ms. Pruis was my favorite teacher at KVCC. She provided clear guidelines for assignments and laid out the online class very well. She sent out lots of reminder emails and let everyone know she wanted them to succeed. Her lectures were easy to understand and provided all the information needed. She also provided links to additional material for anyone who's confused. Ms. Pruis is knowledgeable, dedicated, organized, and very fun. She helped me do well in chemistry class and gave me advice for future classes as well. She had a very positive impact on the whole class. Another student, Dr. Pruis is the definition of a perfect teacher. She is helpful, teaches in a way that is understandable, especially for someone who struggles in science, 
and provides resources for additional help and makes it fun. She's attentive and aware of other challenges students face. She makes herself available and keeps up with communication and overall anyone can see that she truly wants her students to succeed. And finally, I enjoyed being in her class and even look forward to it, which is not something I thought I'd ever say about chemistry. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Hi everyone, I'm Victoria Holowski and it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce my peer, my friend, nursing faculty, Teresa Shane. Congratulations. Uh, She's a nurse that if you're unfortunate or fortunate enough to be in the hospital that she would want, we would want her to um, take care of you. She's excellent, very knowledgeable. Some of the things that the students have written um, regarding Teresa that has her nomination is she inspirational, provides a lot of energy into her teaching, very helpful, and is concerned uh, for the welfare of her students. I've learned so much in her class and she is very encouraging. Another student has written that she loves her students, she loves this program, she loves to teach. Her, her, excuse me, she teaches so too well and never learned better from another professor. And I mean, truly learn. She engages the class as much as she can, and I can't say enough about her. One last comment from students is she's a great teacher who really wants her students to learn and understand nursing concepts. She promotes learning at a higher level and offers multimedia learning opportunities. She's always had the upbeat and positive attitude for and a fast grader. She is excellent. Again, congratulations. There you have it. What I can't let you escape without an English lesson. <laughs> I can't do that. There are our adjectives, right? We have our, our adjectives. We also have comparative adjectives. And we have superlative adjectives. Today we are, we are celebrating superlative adjectives, <laughs> excellence, but that's relative. And we can go farther. We can strive for even better. And that's, that's our goal. It's what we owe our students. It's what we owe them as we try to give them that light to follow, to give them their hopes and their possibilities. So let's enter that semester, this coming semester, with that thought in mind and do the best we can. And I'm going to turn the mic over to our esteemed provost, Wilson. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate that. So this is a really hard act to follow. <laughs> so I appreciate it. It's just such an honor to be here this afternoon. I'd like to take a moment, another round of applause for all of our awardees. another moment to thank those who made this day possible, the committee um, of, of past or former awardees to help with the selection, um, that also includes Cynthia as chair, Gail, Mary, Ron as our wonderful MC, uh, David in, in our Faculty Success Center, Judd and Annette to make the casting possible, really appreciate all of your hard work in making this day special and an opportunity for celebration. I truly look forward each and every year to the Faculty Instructional Awards and the celebration of our faculty and the positive impacts they make in our students' lives. Every day we have an opportunity to change lives. Thank you to all on our Kalamazoo Valley team who accept that challenge responsibility and honor each and every day, even the tough pandemic days or weeks or months or now years, it's truly appreciated. 
Often, the hard and tireless, life-changing work happens behind the scenes, as you all know. Today, we have had the opportunity to bring eight of our colleagues into the spotlight. As we heard through student comments and colleagues' comments that were shared, Cheryl, Lois, Alberto, Stephanie, Mike, Mark, Chris, and Teresa all serve as beacons in the journey of working with students and creating a robust learning environment. Congratulations to each of you, and thank you. I am so proud to be on your team. Wishing all that are part of the Kalamazoo Valley team and those that serve our students and community, wishing you all and all of our students a grace-filled and successful 2021-22 academic year. Thank you, congratulations, and let's make it a great one.